Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Last video, I kind of left it at a cliffhanger and I didn't show you my tour of Breaking the Bold YYC. So that is what this video is for. So if you're interested in seeing the behind the scenes magic of that company, then keep watching. And for those who don't know the history, Breaking the Mold, YYC, reached out to us and asked if we wanted to see exactly how their molds are made. And so Kale and I jumped at the chance to do that. They are pretty close to where we live here in Calgary. So it just made sense to go and check out this amazing company because we have used their vacuum molds in a video. I'll link it up here. And I thought that their molds were fantastic. And yeah, I was just basically very, very curious to see how is this magic done? <laughs> so sit back and relax and let us show you how Breaking the Mold, why I see makes their molds. And we're here. Breaking the mold, why do I see? Let's go in. Yeah. Hello. Hi. So as soon as we walked in, we met Mary Ann who owns Breaking the Mold YYC and she started the tour by showing us the front room of their facility where customers can walk in and view their DIY kits, bath bomb molds, and dyes. Wow. There might be a couple missing from there. <laughs> we also do like Amazing. toys. Um, toys are actually a really big thing for us, especially like Pokemon and Shopkins. We've got the crackled eggs. Fun. Dino eggs. eggs. We're one of the only stores in Canada that carries sodium alginate, oh. which is really hard to find. And what is that for? Sodium alginate, you would use it if you wanted to make like a jelly bomb or a oh. shower bomb. It um, makes it gel. Office, I just sit in there and work all the time and putting <laughs> labels and orders from there. We do have a bathroom. So down here we have all of our mica and pigments and glitters and glow in the darks and a huge array of colors that you could possibly want. Wow. We carry eight cartons for egg bath bombs. We've got the plastic ones as well. We're just getting a bunch of our new glitters in and then random little stuff that I kind of make on the side. So we do a subscription box every month. Oh, nice. We have a bath bomb makers subscription box. So this is our subscription box room. This subscription box room contained everything Breaking the Mold YYC puts into their subscription boxes. So you're getting a little sneak peek into this month's subscription box. It has a huge pack of toys. It's got a recipe kit. Every single month we do a recipe in the sub box. It was a bubble bomb that was in that one. And they got some packaging stuff and some glitter, pearlescent white mica, oh, and a new neon, mango. So every box is just dependent on what we do. Just basically everything you need to make yep. that project. That's a really great idea. It also comes with molds. So depending on what kind of box you get, it would have different molds in it. So you can get anywhere from two yeah, to six molds in a box. So each box is themed, sounds like. Yep. Yeah. This month's box that we're shipping in a week is actually gonna be our four elements box and it's called the witchy box. So we've got witchy type <laughs> items going in it. This is the future studio. So we will have classrooms in here. This studio space is where Breaking the Mold YYC will be holding classes and making videos on how their products work. They have lots of workshops planned for the future, the first one being a colorance class where you learn the difference between micas, pigments, dyes, neons, and lakes. So helpful. It smells the great in here, steamers. by the way. Thank you! <laughs> so yeah, the shower steamers, that's what I'm smelling. <laughs> yeah, we just did this new mold. It's a snap apart shower steamer mold. Oh, great. So those just snap apart. And then we had a couple of different shapes that we did for mini steamers. Like there's a little gem cube, and we've got an actual gem, and then the little mini round cup. And these are all hybrid molds. Okay. Oh, the hybrid molds. The yes. hybrid molds. So a hybrid is a cross between a vacuum and a 3D. So it's a one piece 3D printed mold that acts like a vacuum almost, but they are the easiest molds to use ever. <laughs> Excited to try them out. This is my really gigantic exploded supply room. We won't open the door. <laughs> okay. Keep we that shut. Staff room, and then we go down our little hallway. This is. The warehouse. The warehouse. This is Massive. what everybody yeah. always, they come back here and they're always like, oh my God. This is orders that they're working on to queue out right away. These are orders that will go after. All the toys we carry and little random odds and sides on the back side. This is all sorts of random little pieces of packaging. What happens is people will message us and go, I can't get this in Canada. We go get it. Or we try. One of the big things that everybody is trying to get is paint pens. Use them with mica and they are really great for painting. This is always a hot ticket item. Like we get the test tubes in, and capsules, and different types of organza bags. 
In addition to their monthly subscription boxes, Breaking the Mold YYC also has tons of DIY kits that'll help newbies make bath bombs, wax melts, massage oils, and face masks. They are also open to requests, so if there's a kit you want made, let them know and they might be able to do that for you. Sprinkleville. Oh, this is a fun yeah, shelf. Exactly. <laughs> this is a very fun shelf. Love so the colors. We blend all of our own sprinkles here. On One or two of these were purchased as is, but for the most part, every single blend is blended by me. This is what we call the dye corner. All of our dyes in buckets by what color they are, what their CI number is. That's we amazing. We carry some shimmers. The shimmers are the one that make your water do that shimmery effect. Some colors you just buy like a, a yellow, but if we want a certain teal, I would mix that. Okay. So a lot of our old blends and some of them just come to us the way they are. We've been chipping out eight cartons. We also make our own foaming bath butter in-house. That is the sprinkle shelf that helps us make all of the sprinkles. Another fun shelf. <laughs> Love the colors. Most of this stuff here is typically because every month we do the sub box. I'll order stuff or buy stuff and be like, ooh, future sub box. <laughs> Next, we got to check out where they make their vacuum molds. Oh, that's familiar. <laughs> yes. He molded wonderfully, by the way. He was very cooperative. We watched the video. <laughs> I had some difficulty with one of the sushi vacuum molds, so they decided to make a new one for us, which was so nice. I think it was the California roll. <laughs> he was so cute, but he just was kept the sound or the, It the, was, yes. That guy? Him, yes. Uh, Devin will do a new one. We can watch him. <laughs> extremely hot afterwards. <laughs> so I would not advise using your hands, but I'm used to it. That was pretty quick. Yeah, the, the longest part is heating up the plastic. The dropping and the vacuuming of it is super quick. It's the actual heating the plastic to where I can suction it that takes about three to five minutes, depending on the plastic. Well, and you can see if there's a lip if you flip it upside down, because typically if there's a lip, you'll be able to see it fold over okay. onto the mold. As you can see there, it's like flat. All, yeah, all is, the way around. Which is what I think happened with yours, is that it has a slight lip on the inside. And if you feel it, you can feel all the way around too. It's it's flat, so. Okay, well that's good to know. I do make a ton of vacuums a day, so occasionally <laughs> I miss one by accident. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. or I it could have also just, not to. could have just so, been me too. <laughs> you because here? it was catching in the same place, I honestly think it was because it was a lip on the inside. You guys touch now? There you go. Hot off the press. Oh, it does feel warm. Yeah, it's not as hot as it was, but it's still warm, yeah. I will try again with him and see what happens. Honestly, and I'll have a water the, mix the too. Vacuums are great because we have so many different shapes and we can do so many things with them, right? They're a cheap alternative to the 3Ds. They last longer, but they are much more expensive. And not yeah. necessarily easier to use. Yeah, They're no, actually, uh, the 3Ds these, are these harder. These are pretty simple. Pack them, flatten yeah. them, upside mm -hmm. down, you're good to go, right? Mm -hmm. so. If you don't have a dough scraper, I recommend getting one. They are extremely useful. So you pack it and scrape the back flat. I was watching you use a butter knife. <laughs> <laughs> that's how new I was to the world of vacuum molds. No, that's, yeah. that's totally okay. <laughs> Everyone has a learning curve at some point. Right? Yes. So, well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Problem. Exciting. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's warm in here. <laughs> it is very warm in here, yes. Wow. So this is where all the printers and the magic happens. So this is our Easter egg print. This one has been printing for one day and four hours, and it's at 91%. I have a greater appreciation for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> like this is a hybrid over here, like I was telling you, they're faster to print. Yeah. It's only been going for six hours, and it's already 50% done. We use Highmark prints so that when we put them on in the morning, they're either finished in the evening or done the next morning. Okay. So it starts with just a thin line. Yep, and that's what feeds through it the whole time. So this head that's up here gets heated up to 200 degrees, which is the melting point for the plastic. It's not hot anymore mm -hmm. on this side. Mm -hmm. You can feel it. Yeah. But if you touch it when it's just coming out, it's, it's, <laughs> it's really hot. Yeah. yeah. It'll burn you. <laughs> so yeah. this oh, okay, gotcha. is what's building this up. I see black layer rings around them because the they brim. the brims as we call them when we have those brims on them they tend to stay flat when we were printing without those the edges curled up and mm. then we can't sell that yep. because it's warped but these brims help them stay nice and flat so this is printer room 
room too. Also the repair room. These are part of our original ones that we got from the very, very beginning. Oh, but wow. they kept giving us issues. issues. We switched over to the Enders and now we've got what we call our Ender Army. Yeah. They look a lot more compact, so it might be oh, they are. Yeah. For the best. Had much bigger molds. So we are working on getting them back up and running because we're going to do big multi molds and they print them better than the small ones. Yeah. That one down there is printing air. This one? There! So this is a good example of a <laughs> it's not printing anything. Oh, it's just going you can around. See there's a gap between but I'll tell you why it's not printing anything. Yeah, there's no PLA. <laughs> Refill. Wow. Yeah. This is Rob, my business partner. Hello, Hello. Rob. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is Jerrica and Kale. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Calgary. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We've been loving it. Yeah, they yeah. like the weather. <laughs> the weather's been amazing. Hey, if you don't like it, just wait till tomorrow because it'll be different anyhow. <laughs>
egg cartons. And this packaging is perfect for those egg bath bombs that I talked about in my Fizz Fairy unboxing. They would look beautiful in these. And if you had them displayed on your farmer's market table, people are gonna love them. <laughs> they can get fresh farm eggs from the farmer stall a few uh, spots down and they can get your egg bath bombs in here. <laughs> and I love that they come in these really beautiful Easter colors. I also got a few of these mica pens and these are to help decorate your bath bombs. I don't know how they're used exactly yet, so I have to go and check out Breaking the Mold YYC's website to get instructions on how to, to use these. Apparently they're, they are a hot ticket item and people love them and they have been using them to decorate their bath bombs. Breaking the Mold YYC also has a ton of these little toys that you can hide inside of bath bombs and kids absolutely love that. I get asked all the time whether or not my bath bombs have toys in them and I currently don't put toys in my bath bombs. But if you are thinking about putting toys in your bath bombs, these are the types of things that you would be putting in there. And the last thing that Break the Mold YYC gave me are these really pretty bath bomb openers. And these help get things out of shrink wrap because they have that pointy end over here. <laughs> and I love that she sells them in all these fun colors. And I can tell just by looking at these that these were made using one of her 3D printing machines. So that is it. Thank you so much to Breaking the Mold YYC for letting us into their facility and showing us what they do. It was such a fun tour. Kayla and I had such a great time and Marianne and her team are so wonderful and so nice. I can't wait to show you guys all the things that I make from their little bag of goodies that they gave to me. So stay tuned for that. And if you want to check out their company, I have a link in my description box below. And before I go, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my patrons. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. And if you guys want to do that, you can. There is a link in my description box. And I wanted to give an extra little bit of thank you to these guys, my bubble BFFs. These guys are so, so nice. I really have been loving engaging with you guys and not only answering your questions, but a lot of you have been answering a lot of mine. So it's been quite an experience just engaging with you guys in general. So thank you so much to all of my patrons. You guys are amazing. So if you like this kind of video, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, then please subscribe. And until the next video, keep smiling and keep being awesome and keep making amazing, beautiful things. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Ha! <laughs>